Low Earth orbit might not sound like the best place for mutiny, but that didn't stop the crew of Skylab 4. That's the story we're looking at today on Vintage Space. On November 16th of 1973, the final manned Skylab mission launched to the orbiting space station. Scheduled to last for 84 days, it was the longest mission of the program and also NASA's longest mission to date. It would certainly be taxing on the astronauts as well. The crew, Jerry Carr, Bill Pogue, and Ed Gibson, had some 6,051 working hours planned between the three of them. These tasks included unloading and stowing the thousands of items they would need to run all the scientific and medical experiments, as well as all the solar and planetary observations. It was, needless to say, a packed schedule, but this crew seemed to have a harder time managing their time than the two crews that came before them. And Mission Control wasn't exactly happy. NASA Grand Crews had the expectation that crews should be working in orbit around the clock to achieve all of their goals. They should not be taking rest days and they should not be taking leisurely mealtimes. In fact, they should be working during mealtimes to make sure that they stay on schedule. With Mission Control pushing them to work longer hours, the crew eventually got burnt out and just hit their breaking point. A few days before New Year's of 1973, the crew decided that they were going to take an unscheduled rest day. They stopped working, shut off the communications, and enjoyed the view from orbit. It was basically a space mutiny, and NASA was not happy. Before the month was out, Carr eventually had a talk with NASA. He said his men needed time to rest and recover so they could work more efficiently. And NASA finally agreed. The crew's tasks were broken down such that science goals were a priority, but everything else, like maintenance, was put on a sort of shopping list, something that the crew could do when they either had time or felt up to taking on an extra challenge. Houston also agreed to leave the astronauts alone during mealtimes and after dinner, giving them ample free time to recover from long work days. And having gotten their wish of a reduced workload, the sky Skylab 4 crew eventually worked far more efficiently, but it might have come at a cost. None of the astronauts ever flew in space again. So what do you guys think about the mutiny on Skylab 4? Because I did this episode because a lot of you guys asked me about it or mentioned it as one of your favorite Skylab stories. Leave me your thoughts in the comments below as well as any other Skylab or space related questions and I will answer as many as I can. And of course, for Vintage Space content every day of the week, be sure to follow me on Twitter as AST Vintage Space. And of course, with episodes going up Tuesdays and Fridays, subscribe right here so you never miss an episode.